Hello everyone and welcome back to Bounty Drain and to our quest to save our sister. A rather important one that. Right, we need a place which has itself a drugstore, which we could always go to Philadelphia. I don't know if Charleston is going to have one. There's a civilian camp down near Charleston. An Indian camp over there. We could head over to Knoxville perhaps. Uh, the American Civil War started high demand for weapons in Washington, Richmond, uh, Louisville, and Knoxville. Uh, okay. We're just gonna head straight to Philadelphia. We are going to go as, well, actually, it doesn't make that much difference, but, uh, we're actually gonna, we're, we're gonna burn as much coal as we can. I get that as fast as we're able to. Greetings, civilian. An ally of the South is always welcome in our camp. We have supplies to trade, if y'all need any. Um, sure, okay. Uh, I think I will enter just to see what kind of supplies you might have. Uh, that being said, I'm not sure if that was really the uh, best thing to do. Hard times, looking for a job. Isaac McCoy. Tell me more about yourself, Isaac. Um, you're a trader. You're also, you've got stone skin as an ability. That's uh, quite good. It's, you're a survivor. I'm afraid we can't take you along, though. I have no room. I, I was just dropping in to uh, say hello more than anything. There we are. We're just going to make a couple of, of hops. And we're going to focus on this quest, pretty much because our sister's dying. Uh, you know, there's, there's no other reason. Just don't want her to die. Only well-prepared medicine. What do you want to buy? I'm looking for medicine for my sister. She has a fever and red dots all over her skin. Do you have a remedy? Uh, what? Uh, what? I do, do you have a remedy? Uh, there we go. Can I talk to you? Ah, uh, no. We just come in here. Uh, okay. Um, do, what? What do I need to buy? Oh dear. Uh, I need to check the quest. Get medicine for Pearl. What kind of medicine? Get medicine. Uh, um. Okay. We'll do our best. I'll, I'll just buy a little bit of everything. I think that's what I need to do. Uh, okay, so uh, strength booster. No, we'll, we'll take this medicine bottle. Small medicine bottle. Buy the medicine bottle. There we go. I only want one. Uh, and then we'll buy one of these ones as well. There we go. Purchase medicine. Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, this is remarkably simple. I suspect it's not going to go my way the whole whole way through this. this. This seems a little bit too easy, if you ask me. All right, there we go. And, yeah, let's head straight back to Pearl as swiftly as we can. The amount of days it's given me alone tells me that there's something something's going to happen. All right, a day and 13 hours. I bet you didn't expect me to be back this quickly. Okay. Okay, Pearl, how are you doing? Uh, this will help you, if only for a while. Um, a while, dear. It will give us some time. I brought you medicine, dear. It will buy us some time. 30 days of respite. Uh, sure. Thank you, Walter. I'll try to stay alive. <laughs> and not yourself? Wow. That, that, that is sibling love right there. I'm afraid the doctors here don't know what to do. A local shaman, however, claims he can cure me with the proper ingredients. Uh, what ingredients does he need? I'll bring them no matter the cost. Uh, for your young, beautiful sister is seriously ill, find a way to save her. I need to go to Memphis and find Masua. Uh, I will, in the meantime, get some rest. Unfortunately, I'm tough. Was that an option? Nah, I don't think I'm going to do that. As it happens, no. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Okay, well, uh, I'm afraid I have no idea where Memphis is or in America. Oh, wow, it's all the way over there. Okay, well, we can get there in two hops by going down this route. Or one, two, three, four by going that one. How much is that? It'll cost us $2,000. And this one will cost us 600 Okay, I accept. Um, and then this one... $2,000. Uh, what about you? 800 800 plus 900 Okay, it's, it's, it's getting almost to the same cost now. Uh, yeah, there's no way that's going to be cheaper. All, all, all right. Uh, so, looks like I may be in need of my cargo wagon, which is in Wilmington. This is where I am right now. Fantastic. Uh, yes. 
We are going to be doing much trading. Oh my lord. Uh, don't worry, Pearl. I, I will I will fix. Avak will fix. Avak always fixes. Let me pop that in there. Alright, well, what have we got in Wilmington that I can trade for a, a hefty sum elsewhere? Uh, we have some weapons, um, which are very much wanted in a couple of places right now. Uh, Knoxville apparently wants them, I believe. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, in Knoxville they want uh, weapons. Only seven days, though. How long will it take me to get to Knoxville? I can definitely get to Richmond soon enough. Two days, 22 hours. All right. Uh, let's see, how much? Uh, Richmond as well. Have a look at weapons. Yeah, they'll, they'll take it, all right. So, how heavy are these things? Two tons, ouch! Ye gads, that's heavy. All right, well, there's not a lot we can do about it. We need to take it. Let's grab all of that. Uh, how much coal we can't have got? Not that much, so I'll buy this. Now, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to get it in seven days. Not with this much weight. 12 days at the fastest possible speed. Four days just to Richmond. Well, that's fine, as long as we can gather in time. What else do we have? Food is not that uh, good in Richmond. What about tobacco, though? That tobacco isn't too bad. Okay, I'll grab a bunch of tobacco. There we go. Right, we're heading to Richmond. And frankly, I don't care who I'm selling the weapons to at the moment. My sister's ill. I, I, I would sell the weapons to the devil himself in order to save my sister. It's only my soul that's going to go to hell, not hers. That, that's the way I'll reason it. Maybe she'll feel guilty about all the people die. Okay, maybe maybe this is a bad idea, but we're doing it anyway. Current train mass is too high. Ah, oh, scallywags. Well, tiny bit too, too uh, wasty. I absolutely didn't pay any attention to that because I assumed that uh, we would be fine with tobacco, but no, tobacco tobacco wouldn't, wouldn't quite be there. I'm just not going to tell Pearl how I got this money. Uh, I'll, I'll take this to the grave with me, and possibly to hell, as, as I've already, uh, already explained. But Pearl doesn't need to know. She'll be innocent in this. There we go. Let's uh, go and sell all of these weapons. Here we are. Nice bit of profit there. Thank you. And uh, that that's that's about all we need. There we go. That was nice and easy. I will, yes. Thank you. Now we're going to need a lot of uh, coal to get down there, I imagine. So let's go and grab us a little bit of coal. Actually, uh, we probably don't. Looking at it, we probably don't. Let's uh, yeah, let's head into Knoxville and just see what they what they want down there. Uh, we're not going to bring anything along with us. We're just going to make the trip to Knoxville. Uh, yeah, and we're going to go as fast as we can. I, I'll burn the coal for now. Greetings, friend. You're welcome in our camp. Please come and rest or trade. Uh, it would be an honor to join you. Cougar, I believe your name was. Uh, hello, Grey Fox. Hi again. Hard times. Uh, I'm still not interested, sorry. Uh, but you have tobacco and oil. Um... At reasonable prices, flammability very high is a really good price here though, so sure, I'll, I'll pick up all of those, thank you. Uh, as for this, not really a good price, so I'm going to leave that there. Well, thank you very much. Now then, I wonder what happens when you do that, like if you come out of it and you've increased your weight because you popped in there, suddenly like, oh yeah, no, you won't arrive on time, or you won't arrive at all. How would you deal with that? Because... It's not like you're in the market and can just drop stuff into the uh, inventory of the market. You are now, unfortunately, in the middle of a railway with a train that's too heavy. That would be kind of bad. Kind of bad. Uh, you haven't got that much tobacco here, so I've got a, a funny feeling we're going to make a profit. Excellent. Excellent. That'll cover some of the cost of coal that we're going to need. Uh, you don't seem to actually produce anything. Uh, jewelry, actually. You may produce jewelry. Have a look at that. Yeah, only 101 here. Most places that don't produce it goes for a lot more. Sure, I'll pick up 10 um, bits of jewelry and we'll carry that with us and just hope to goodness that it's enough and that we get a decent price in uh, Memphis. 
Okay, hanging on. Oh my lord, I just noticed there are crop circles in the crops. Oh my goodness. Greetings, friends. You're welcome to our camp. Please come and rest or trade. Very well. Uh, Crazy Horse. Hello, stranger. My name is Crazy Horse. Hard times. Looking for a job. Well, uh, let tell me about, about yourself. You are a doctor. You're also uh, good with firefighting. Okay. Uh, just really checking out your abilities for now. Uh, not such good prices here. How much should we get for selling jewellery? Um, actually, not too bad. Still... I think I'm gonna go on and not worry too much about that. I'm not gonna buy tobacco for that kind of price now. Did you just say I see dead people? I have no idea. But the crop circles have amused me greatly, I must confess. I'm gonna need to check out the map and see see more things around the map. Right, first and foremost, let's uh, drop this off and hopefully make a massive profit. How much are jewelry worth here? Wow, yes. Yes, we will. I think this is actually the best place to sell it that I'm aware of. Yes. 2,900 and something. Grand. Hello, Matsua. Tell me your ail ailment if you require healing. Otherwise, please do not waste my time. Are you the real deal or just another con artist? That would, that would be a terrible opening line. My sister needs your help, but apparently you don't have the necessary ingredients. Her name is Pearl. I know who you speak of. She has an ailment that can only be cured with a dream herb called Mexican, um, Calais, I'm going to say. There is a shaman in uh, Louisville by the name of uh, Margaret, who frequently has this plant sent to her from my home country. Uh, okay. And this plant alone will cure her? Yes. But I doubt she will be able to tolerate its bitterness. I must mix it with a herb used by the natives here called sweetgrass. You'll have to obtain it from one of their camps. I will return soon with the ingredients. They better work, for your sake as well as hers. Uh, now, I'm not going to threaten the doctor. Where can I find these herbs? Usually the Apache have sweetgrass and Margaret is in Cleveland. Okay, I will let you know if I decide to find the ingredients. No, why do I have to either be a jerk or a jerk? Why is there no middle ground that is, I don't know, not a jerk? Ah, <sighs> fine. Okay. It sounds as though you expect me to do this for free. You own a train, don't you? Instead of dollars, bring me good boots. Do not bother returning to me without them. Uh, sure, I know a place where I can get boots. Don't have much choice. I'll bring the ingredients along with the boots. Boots? Forget about it! I love my sister, but boots? You're a crazy man. Oh, the dialogue in this game is actually genuinely funny. Uh, right, okay, natural treatment, pearl, don't let her die, boots for the shaman, herbs, arrive in Cleveland and find Margaret, um, obtain a small, medium or large medicine potion, I've already done that one, uh, obtain boots, return to Mashua in Memphis, okay, uh, alright, let's have a quick look, um, I mean, you've got food, you've also got cotton. Any events going on? Richmond, but I'll never get there in time. Uh, I'm not going to go for a, a bounty right now. Okay, let's find out how we would get to Cleveland. Also, let's have a look over the map. Any more crop circles? Because I deeply want to find more crop circles. There are no more crop circles. Well, that is just rubbish. Only one crop circle? How will we cope? I wonder if it moves around. That would be glorious if it does. <laughs> Genuinely, I am I am amused. Amused. Right, well, the best route. How much would this cost? Oh, it's really expensive. Um, we could head up and just take this little route down here. It only costs 300. I'll open it up because the only place I know to get boots is up in Boston. So, we're going in that direction anyway. Right, well, if I reduce... It'll take me longer to get there. But we can make the trip on the on what we've got. Yeah, okay. It's going to take me five days. Um, we've, we've got the time for this one. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to stop off in Richmond, actually. And try and get there as fast as I can. There we go. Go. Four days and six hours. We may have a cropper of someone along the way, but it should be fine. Once we get to Richmond, we'll see if there's anything we can trade along the way. Ooh. Oh, we made $183, despite opening up some massively long train lines, so uh, that isn't too bad. Hello, Walter. I was informed that our opponent, Cornelius uh, Tilburner, has just obtained another 1% of the shares. I begin to worry that we are losing the race for your father's company. We must hurry. Uh, Scallywag. Don't worry, I got it all in hand. Um, supply eight units of tobacco. No, I don't want to supply anything here right now, I'm afraid. Uh, however, you've got quite a lot of alcohol. Uh, and I'm going to be going to Boston, at the very least. Uh, Washington will pay decently for the alcohol. Um, sure, okay. I'll buy it all. Yeah, and now I'm gonna leave. Goodbye. I don't. Am I not gonna be checked? Oh, that's fantastic. This is brilliant. Oh no. Oh no. I have a decided lack of coal. I should have checked that first. I would have laughed if I got ch if I got caught coming back in here to buy coal. That would have genuinely amused me, and I was expecting it. Uh, I don't know if I'm I'm pleased or a little bit let down that it didn't happen. Honestly, <laughs> I would have done it if I was a developer of this game. I'd have been ruthless. It's like, oh, you didn't check it, coal. <laughs> Better luck next time, noob smuggler. Right, there we go. Making a fair old bit of profit there. Quite a hefty sum, in fact. Um, as for tools, there are tools here. Well, let's go and see if you got anything I need. Uh, did I five units to Detroit? Uh, no. Supply, oh, I should have, damn it all. I should have checked. What a silly, silly man. Oh, well. Um, how much was in Richmond? Well. Well, well, well. Okay. Uh, no, I've only got 56 days. No, I'm not going to make a, a run that will get me money there, no. No, 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 no. I've got to be, I've got to be a, a loving brother. Damn it. Uh, greeting, civilian. Please stay calm and prepare your train for regular contraband inspection. We're looking for alcohol or weapons. Do you have any on board? No, of course not. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Don't mind my shifty eyes. I've got a condition. There we go. Right. I would like to buy a bunch of steel, because I know I'm going somewhere where they want steel, so I might as well. Eight will do. Uh, and I'll pick up, yeah, two, well, actually, no, just one ton of coal will do. There we are. We'll fill up the rest of you with tobacco. Perfect. On to Boston. We, we will hopefully pick up some boots. Go. Right, so first and foremost, uh, first and foremost, we check this just in case. Supply units of medicine? No, okay, fine. No medicine, no alcohol. Right, it's tobacco, there we go, and then steel. Not actually that much profit anymore. I'm not used to not getting uh, better profit, frankly. Uh, right, boot shop. Obtain boots. Show me what you've got. Oh. If I can get old boots. Boots! Oh, great boots! Uh, I know, look, it's not like he's doing me a favor, but I I look at this like I would look at going to a restaurant and eating the meal prepared by a chef. You don't want to insult the chef before he prepares the meal, okay? You can perhaps insult it afterwards if you're sure you're not coming back, but why would you? If you're not coming back, what's the point? Honestly, just don't insult the chef. Be nice. Say thank you for the meal. Start up a conversation with the barman before he pours you a drink. Things like that. Get the nicest pair of boots you can possibly afford for the person who's going to be fixing up the, the life-saving medicine for your sister. It, it's not rocket science. It, it all makes sense to me, at the very least. 
Um, so <laughs> is this really, the, is this perhaps the only reason these things are here? Because that's fantastic if it is. A whole shop just for one quest later on. Ah, oh, marvelous. All right, we need to go to Cleveland, but is there anything that might want to happen between here and Cleveland? Possibly in Buffalo. Um, nine units of medicine but to Buffalo, seven units of cotton. Uh, sure. Um, yeah, okay, I'll take this. Yoink. And then... I can't do anything else, but, uh, sure. No, that's fine. Anything else I want to take with me? Uh, I don't think so. Does Buffalo have decent prices on jewelry? Yeah, it does. So, I'll grab a couple of extras. There we go. We'll head over to Buffalo since it's on the way anyway. Okay, we only got 51 days now, but we should easily be able to do this. Union blockades Confederate ports. Uh, oh, thank goodness they let me into their camp. It's okay, thank you for the hospitality, bro. I'm super, super busy. Gotta save my sister. You understand how it goes. Right, okay, so let's drop off the uh, nine units of medicine. Thank you. Uh, do you have anything you want me to take to... No, you don't. That's a bit of a shame. And I will drop off the jewelry as well. Make a tidy little profit there. Grab an extra ton of coal. Okay. And now we need to head over to Cleveland. Ah, oh, this has been a bit of a whirlwind tour around around the American coastline. Uh, please stay calm and prepare your train for regular contraband inspection. We're looking for alcohol or weapons. Of course I don't have any. I, I'm, I'm clearly a law-abiding citizen. Uh, take care. Why do you all think that I would smuggle alcohol? Who's been telling you stories? Robert, did you write a letter to someone? Uh, right, so we need here to uh, talk to Margaret. What do you need from me? Do you have uh, a great marker uh, said you can help me? Um, hmm. I'm going to say, uh, said I don't know. They, they might, they might be enemies, but I'll, I'll try. I know him. What do you need? Uh, Mexican uh, Calais. Yes, take it. Thank you very much. Uh, sweet grass also. Just a little. It's very expensive here. I can sell it for 750 or you can search for it in the north. No, I'll buy it. Thank you. I think I need to go. Bye. Uh, right, so we've got everything. And now I just need to return to where, where I came from. That's fantastic. Um, I don't want to smuggle contraband. I'm far too busy to smuggle contraband, my lord. Uh, it's, it's nice. There's someone that really needs it. Um, you know, it's Confederate. Price of steel go up in Atlanta, Charleston, Jackson, Jacksonville, Knoxville, Memphis, Mobile, Montgomery, New Orleans, Richmond, and Wilmington. For 12 days. I probably won't reach any of those places from New York in 12 days. Uh, maybe. Maybe I will. I don't know. Um, at the very least, cotton is fairly good right now. What about oil? Mm, wouldn't make much on oil. Weapons. I'm going to get 69 here. I'd probably sneak it into Buffalo. Uh, I'll just sneak through um, Utica. Might make a bit in Utica. Um, what's Boston's price of the button? I mean, I don't want just to be a scallybag. It's not my intention to be one. It's just the way... The way life has dealt, it's the cards that I've been dealt, basically, okay? I'm, I'm just a victim of circumstance. A victim of circumstance. Now, issue here is there are soldiers. Um, and they might not go for a while. I'm going to speed some time up. They might not leave. No, I'm wasting too much time. I could drop things off or I, tr I could try and smuggle it. Mm, no, they're going to do a proper contraband set. Nah, you know what? Let's for science this, shall we? Let's for science it. Go. For science. Um, sorry, sorry. I didn't, didn't know the goods were, were contraband. Please write in the report that I have handed the smuggled goods over voluntarily. Um, no. Of course I don't. I'm a law-abiding citizen. 
Fingers crossed! Lying bastard, get them, boys! Ah, oh, damn! I have been caught in the act! Oh dear. We're now fighting soldiers with a cargo wagon full of weapons! This may end poorly. Quite poorly. Uh, okay. Let's get you over there. We. I'm sorry, I don't mean to kill the soldiers. It's not, not my intent, I promise. It was never, this This wasn't meant to happen. Uh, however, if you try to grab these areas, I'm gonna throw dynamite at you. I'm flat out gonna throw dynamite. Also, my headset is beeping at me. Out of charge, what a time. And I am back. Right, okay, so, Robert. Yeah, definitely, you should be aiming there. Ephraim, go ahead. Use your canceling ability. Um, you move in. Try and take him out, please. Walter. Can I not? Sh I really don't want Walter to stand anywhere right, where he might accidentally encourage them to, to shoot at the cargo. That would be super bad. All right, that's right. You just guys, guys just get into these locations. Good. And Dinamite, about there. Please. Dinamite, thank you. And explosions. Explosions! I, I missed them with Dinamite? How? Shenanigans. Absolute shenanigans, I call. That is not how Dinamite works. Please focus on Miles. Let's take Miles out, please. There we go. Uh, Robert, you focus on... Um, Ephraim, you can't, so focus on the same one over there. Uh, focus there. Focus fire wherever possible. Right, they've moved into position. Dinamite! About, well, actually, how about the grenade? Damage them? No, the dinamite is better, but we'll go ahead and uh, throw this about there. There we go! Boom! Another one down. Glorious. Uh, all focus fire, please. You guys take him out. Uh, as for you, can I can't actually leave the train, which is a bit of a pain, but... Uh, let's get over there and take them on. Well done. All right, let's get everyone back inside now. We don't need anyone outside. Uh, Ephraim. That's right. All of you take your shots. You can head on down. There we are. And you can go down. We've got enough firepower here to win this fight fairly easily. Um, before you do anything, please use your crazy good ability on Robert. There we go. And then heal Ephraim. There we are. Oh, there's more of them. What? Scallywags. Nonsense, I say. Uh, be a better medic. Thanks. And Ephraim, be a better marksman. Seems like the best choice of skills for now. Uh, right, Ephraim, you're being healed. Okay, so Walter, you move over there. Uh, this is all taking a lot of time. Have we cleared the path? Um, no, not yet. That's fine. The main thing is to keep them from trying to shoot at, you know, stuff that I really wish they, they wouldn't. Like my weapons. Uh, they should go down reasonably fast because there's just nowhere for them to take cover right now. Um, Naomi, Ephraim, you can both take them out. That's fine. Uh, are we doing okay with you? Can I make sure that you're both focusing? Yes, good. Right. You're going to need a little bit more time to do some healing, I think. What is this blue bar? I really don't know what that is. Ah, no! No! Stop shooting at the weapons. I do not want to lose that carriage. Okay, you need to... Robert, move away from that carriage. There we go. That is so much better, Robert. Much, much better. Right, move up there. Ephraim, focus fire. I can tell Ephraim to uh, enter um, gunslinger mode. There we go. They'll be finished. Oh, no! Get over there. No. Bad, naughty. No. Oh, dear. Right, everyone needs to get in there now. Get over there. He boarded the train, the scallywag. I let him, so I guess it's my own fault. But uh, we should be able to very easily win this fight by just 
all piling on him. It's fine. It's fine. No one is in any trouble. There we go. We won energy herbs, a wooden club, a Mississippi rifle, 1841, and two knives. We did take a bit of... Uh, bit of uh, damage there but overall not too bad I think not too bad at all there we go I was trying to avoid any any shenanigans but you know these things do happen when you decide to smuggle oh yeah we made quite a lot of money for it though so I mean there is that all right, alcohol, is that prohibited in New York? Yeah, it is. Let me have a look at the map. How likely are we to get to New York without having to worry about it? Yeah, fairly likely, I would say. Um, hmm. Yeah, we're gonna fill up with alcohol then. Get an extra ton of coal too. Okay, time for us to head up to New York. Travel as fast as you can, please. We've got 40 days left. There we go. Now, will they work it out? Uh, contraband detection probability is 90%. Uh, no, actually, don't enter the town. Ah, of course. Drat. I forgot. The, the, the main rule of carrying contraband, don't make it obvious. Um... Uh, yeah, they're a bit suspicious of me. Sure, I'll, I'll donate $100. Can I sell the, the alcohol here? Uh, how much would you give me for alcohol for the troops? Um, uh, it's actually not too bad. Sure, okay, I'll take it. Um, but yes, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, adding any uh, other items to it. What a fool I was. What a fool. We'll win till morning. Uh, we need to take some fur to New York. Sure. That's fine. Supply five units of alcohol. Damn it! Ah, uh, alas. Uh, we could take the jewelry, because New York will give me a better price, so sure, we'll grab that as well. And a little bit of oil, I think. New York does have a better price on that too, so sure. Yeah, okay, that isn't actually too bad. And then we'll get, grab a ton of coal. There we go. Not too bad at all. There we go. And we can quickly hand this over. Oh dear. Uh, dear Walter, I received a letter from Michael. He's in Montgomery. Hope you will find him there. Still no news from Samuel. Hope he's alright. Your brother, Robert. Robert, do you need to mail this to me? You're just like two carriages away. Why? Uh, I suppose you're keeping keeping the uh, the mail business going though, so I, I guess I, I don't entirely disapprove. Oh well, my brother's a bit of a weird one. Right, let's drop off the oil and also drop off the uh, jewelry. There's no point in taking any any steel down there at this point, I don't think. So you know what? I'm actually just gonna try and get down there as fast as I can at this point. Um, that being said, I could possibly drop some stuff off at Washington. How long will it take me to get there? One day, 40... No, we're getting too close. I'm just gonna burn down there as fast as I can. Uh, Green Civilian, the United States Army is asking for donations. Uh, yeah, I'll donate a little bit, sure. Um, what have you got? Uh, nothing for a price that I'm willing to pay, I think. Unless Washington really... Ooh, actually your tools are a good price. You have also got weapons. Is Washington willing to buy weapons? Maybe. Uh, no, I think we can make, get by with the tools, honestly. So I'll grab those. Okay, thank you. Ooh, now that looks like an interesting engine. Uh, is... Charleston. Hmm. Where be you, Charleston? Oh, never mind. Too late. I'll have a look later. Alright, let's drop off all of these tools. Make a little bit of money. It's not terrible. 
Alright, so we're heading to Knoxville, I believe. Uh, what would be a good sell in Knoxville? What about the furs? The furs wouldn't make me much. How about the food? The food would, actually. The food would make a reasonable... Oh, no, sorry, we're... Yeah, we are heading to Knoxville. The food would make me a reasonable amount, so... We could fill up on that on our way down there. We've got 30 days remaining. I think we, we've got enough time. We should do, be fine. Let's fill up with seven tons worth of uh, food. It's not, not a heavy one there. And we'll head out now. There we go. It'll take us just four days to travel down there. That'll leave us 26 days to do the rest of our work and get back to Wilmington. Uh, oh dear. Light wheels malfunction. Speed loss, 7%. Ugh. Not good. Super bad days. Drat, damn, and blast. May need to get that repaired. Or just leave the, the wagon here. Honestly, I'm tempted to just leave the wagon here, frankly. Let's go and see how much it would cost to repair it. Uh, repair would require 90 and one day. Um, repair it. But leave it here. We're heading on. And yeah, let's let's head all the way down to Memphis with the boots and the herbs. No, fifteen percent speed loss. That's not something that we can manage. Ouch. Okay, Matsua. Uh, here are your ingredients. Uh, here are your boots. Give very expensive boots. Nice boots. I'm happy. Uh, native attitude plus 10. Now herbs. There you go. Now take me to your sister. Of course. Give me some time. I'm not ready yet. D damn it. I didn't realize. Uh, please tell me you've got a carriage. What on earth? That's uh, a big caboose. Uh, I could pick up a middle passenger carriage at this point if I really wanted to. Uh, how long would this take to repair? One day, 20 hours. I need to repair it. Um, we'll pick up a small passenger carriage, though, because I don't want to add any extra, um, weight that we don't need. Okay, we're going to have to spend the days whilst uh, that's getting prepared. There we go. And we are set to leave. Okay, we'll grab that, grab that. Okay, now take me to it. Yes, very well. Hop on board. Now we've got to get to Wilmington and then talk with Pearl. Uh, Knoxville. I do believe that you will give me a good price on these. Not that I can carry them there, unfortunately, because my cargo wagon is in Knoxville. Uh, Skylabax. On the plus side, when we get there, it should be okay. I've got to get some coal, though. Uh, there we go. Grab that. We've only got 23 days. I, w I was thinking, oh, yeah, you know, we're going to be fine. I... I gotten all of these extra days we're actually getting close i'm i'm really surprised really surprised all right uh if we go and grab the cargo wagon, i just don't want to leave it behind basically go oh, in there uh what type of train is that uh no it's much slower much slower okay if we head straight down to wilmington it will take us six days at max speed and i'll take just a little bit more coal than we've got that's fine i'm all right with that i just don't want to have to come back here just to get this later on which is what will happen otherwise so sure we'll we'll lose a little bit of money on the coal there but we've made a lot of money doing this i'm oh no really no again Okay, I need to sell that carriage then. It's, it's clearly gone a little bit too far and is now uh, starting to uh, break down. We need to re replace the carriages that are, are breaking down. That have uh, travelled a, a few too many miles. Okay, so, Pearl. Pearl, don't give up. I brought the shaman. He will cure you. Thank you so much, Walter. Please take my shares. The company is in good hands with you. Father would be proud. Please come and see me when I'm feeling better. Thank you, Pearl, and never give up. Ha! In your face, person with awesome name. 
very well. Uh, <laughs> loads of level ups. Can I can I hire Pearl? I cannot. It makes me sad that I cannot. But oh well. Uh, all right. So uh, drink some water. A glass of water will restore one hundred percent of your health. Wow. Magic water. Uh, trade a level four. Will increase our profit even further and cool down time uh, minus five. Carries about selling goods and items. Increase the loot quality. Um, that's fine. I think hmm, weapon critical chance, and this would also give me a new skill slot. So I'm going to choose that, and then a new skill. Currently, we have trading, gunfighting. I could go with engineer. It might not be a bad one to take, but cannonier seems really nice. I'd be able to use cannons. Um, I think I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now. I don't know what I would like there yet. How about Robert, though? Focus aim. The character learns to hold their breath while shooting, increasing their chance of dealing critical damage. Or agility plus one. Or increase the mechanic. Uh, no, we'll go with uh, focus aim, I think. There you go. That's a new perk for you. Uh, Ephraim. Yeah, we're going to take your marksmanship up even further. There we go. Marksman level 4. Rate of fire is 40%. Accuracy is plus 3.33%. Critical chance is up by 2%. The next level will increase the accuracy even further. Very nice. And Naomi. Uh, I could take your what, power of the night. What? Uh, no, that's fine. I think we could either go for higher healing or marksman level three. Um, why is my why your accuracy skill going down? That I don't understand. Uh, no, I think we're actually going to go with healer, honestly, because it's going to increase the med kit size. So a much bigger med kit now. That's actually pretty cool. So you can restore 40 HP instantly, and you have 105 seconds worth of uh, cooldown after that. And um, healing speed 4 HP per second, med kit size 190 HP. So I imagine that's just how much you can heal at in a single combat, which is pretty good to know. But that is where we're going to be wrapping up this episode, I think. And I think uh, at this point, uh, it would be good to take stock of how people are enjoying the series. Do let me know down in the comments below. And if you'd be interested in seeing more Bounty Train in the future, I'm certainly enjoying it. And we have now got a bit of a lead on one of our brothers. But that's going to be it for me for now. So as ever, do remember to leave a like if you liked, sub if you haven't, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.